Hi everyone, uh, this is Chirag, Loki and myself Isru. We'll be presenting to you the consumer decision making process of a limited edition called uh, White Walker by Johnny Walker. And first up, I'll give you a brief introduction about the product. So the, the brand is a, it's a Johnny Walker, it's a type of whiskey, which is the theme. And the sub brand is a blended whiskey. The consumer decision making process consists of five steps. The first one, need recognition, information search, evaluation, purchase and post-purchase behavior. Myself, Isru, will speak to you about need recognition and information search. Loki would speak to you about evaluation and purchase. And Chirag would speak to you about post-purchase behavior and the conclusion. First up, it is uh, step one, which is recognition. What triggers the consumer to use the product? Given this particular product is based on a very hit TV series known as Game of Thrones, as you can see on the picture, it's, it's been a TV series which has been there for eight seasons and the latest season is gonna hit the TV screens on the 14th of April, where a lot it's gonna be viewed all over the world. So it's, it's a very large TV series, it just got a lot of awards as well, and it's a very trendy TV series. Also, uh, there's the need in the, the need of the product is mainly because it is a limited edition whiskey, and also uh, the Game of Thrones fans all over the world just love the, the way it is. And also the quality, Johnny Walker is a brand known for quality, so them coming up with a white walk edition connected to Game of Thrones, which means they're going to provide a quality product. Also, another way people consumers would need is as it using as a hobby. So some there's people who would like to collect alcohol bottles as hobbies and just have it as a showcase. That is also another need of the consumers. Step two would be information search. Where can this product be found? It's all over the market and it's a big hit product at the moment. It's, it's got a good word of mouth and a high social media valuation. Therefore, it's, it's very trending all around, all around the, uh, the market, consumer market at the moment. And given the price is value for money, given what uh, Johnny Walker is known for, all their products are value for money. So that is also where you, uh, you can, is of why this product is very commonly what's what consumers are looking for also where can this product be found this product can be found in local alcohol stores like dan murphy's bws all around australia and also it's got a very high connection to hbo entertainment which is the provider who screens game of thrones they're the producers of game of thrones so having such a high producer connect to Johnny Walker's alcohol, it gives us a very good uh, outlook on the product and has a very high a very high hype on the product, which enables it to re uh, reach a lot of consumers. Moving on, step three would be discussed to you about Loki. Hello, um, step three is ranking alternatives. And um, this is usually done when the consumer will go in with an intended purchase, say, of whiskey, and they'll weigh up what choices they have. This is usually done through how popular the whiskey is. They'll usually know given how much shelf space they have or word of mouth. Um, they'll, they'll also judge it by, um, they also judge it by the label design, the bottle design, and its artistic value to them. They'll also weigh it up by um, uh, price, flavor, alcohol content. A cutoff would be uh, an attribute to the, to the alcohol that, would, that the consumer perceives as negatively. And um, they'll use cutoffs to thin, thin the spectrum of selection that they have and make it easier to manage in their minds. So for example, they might have a price range and um, they might have a specific alcohol content. Some people like to get drunker for less money. So, uh, some people have a, can't spend as much as on alcohol. 
so they'll settle for something with less quality. They'll often also have a commitment to a certain brand, uh, say a cult brand, if they might be a fan of a certain brand. So if it's a familiar brand, they'll be more likely to remain attached to it and they won't branch out as much unless they're feeling experimental. This is an evaluation table. Um, it's a visualiz visualization of how the consumer might rank and uh, consider alternatives to the brand that we're made talking about in question, which is the Johnny Walker White Walker Whiskey. Um, in terms of popularity, the, uh, Johnny Walker has two competitors, which is Jack Daniels, which is the most popular, and um, Jemison Irish Whiskey, which is the third popular. Um, Johnny Walker coming in, in second. Um, they might, instead of going for the collector's item, Game of Thrones, they might go for a, tri for a classic Johnny Walker product, which is Red Label, which is easy to find in most bars, uh, stores, and um, it's uh, pretty cheap as well. Jack Daniels is in a similar boat, it's more popular, it's a cult brand, it's um, good, and all of these three alternatives, they are very good for making cocktails, they're very generic, they can mix it with dry ginger ale, coke, other drinks, you can make all sorts of things. White Walker stands out from these alternatives in a, a number of different ways. First is it's a limited edition. The consumer will feel pressured to, to buy it now rather than later. It also has a, uh, an affiliation with the hit TV series Game of Thrones and they'll, depending if they're a fan of that, they might go after that more. It's also got a very unique feature with the temperature of the whiskey. Uh, unlike most whiskies, it says on the bottle to store it in the, f in the fridge or the freezer and actually drink it chilled. They, they tease this feature by adding, a, um, adding something to the label. It says, it says winter is coming on the side, but the text only appears once it's chilled. And, um, it also changes flavor depending on the temperature and um, both warm and cold, it tastes very, very nice. And uh, the in-between, there's a whole range of flavors and that's very appealing. Step four is the purchase decision. Um, with White Walker Whiskey, it's usually a trial pur purchase, but um, in terms of um, what this means, uh, for example, the consumer might go into a store with the intention of buying whiskey. That's their um, that's their intended purchase, but um, they'll have a whole range to choose from, and so their their purchase de decision will be one whiskey. And um, some things that might influence their um, decision will be. Um, word of mouth from someone that they, they might be shopping with, someone they might be close with, they might pressure them to buy it because it's associated with um, Game of Thrones, it might be experimental, they might want to try something different. Uh, it could be a recommendation from a salesman. It could be a recommendation from a salesman, which is not uncommon. And it also could be another unexpected situation that could affect the decision would, would be um, there might be a sale going on with um, another whiskey. Uh, I'll hand it off to uh, Chirag. The fifth process in the consumer decision process is the post purchase behavior. That means a business access how a customer feels after buying a product. He, uh, the business access if a customer is satisfied with the product or the service being availed or is dissatisfied. For example, if a customer is satisfied with the product, he will be loyal to the brand, he will be loyal to the company and will also spread a positive word of mouth. That means he can actually help in increasing the sales and can also bring better brand positioning. On the other hand, if a consumer feels dissatisfied with the product or any service, uh, 
he might change the brother he might change the brand and plus also may uh, give negative word of mouth which might have a bad influence on the company and the brand to access the post purchase behavior a business try many tactics for example the first one be the money back guarantee that means after a product is being bought and the customer doesn't feel satisfied or if he is dissatisfied with any service or an item he can get his money refund uh, the second one can be taking service for example if a consumer go in a shop a salesman might ask for his number and personal details like email or any social media account this might uh, help business in accessing if a customer feels satisfied with the product or not and if he wants to buy this product again and if he's fe uh, feeling influenced by the marketing process and everything so to conclude there are five steps uh, in the consumer decision making process the first one need recognition second information search third evaluation fourth purchase and fifth and the final one post purchase evaluation so what we have learned in all these steps is that the business try to make a value in the minds of the customers so that it creates a brand positioning and might influence in their decisions throughout the process we have learned that the business wants to give uh, an item or provide any service which not only influence their decisions but also uh, have a positive word of mouth so that they can increase their sales and increase their customers base that's it uh thank you for this was our presentation we have a reference slide attached to it and thank you on that